In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on E2 reaction. Here, we have to find which of the two diastereomers of 1-bromo-4-isopropyl cyclohexane cis and trans will undergo faster elimination under E2 reaction condition. Let's discuss one by one. First, we will discuss in cis isomer. The stable conformation of cis isomer can be drawn like this. For the elimination to occur, bromo should be axial and in this conformation we can see that it is axial. So the ethoxide ion abstract the beta proton and at the same time elimination of bromo group will give alkene product. Now let's take trans isomer. The stable conformation of trans isomer can be drawn like this. Here bromo group is equatorial. So this conformation is not suitable for elimination. Now let's do ring flipping to find another conformation with axial bromo group that is required for the elimination. Here in this conformation both the bromo and isopropyl groups are axial. Because of this, it will be an unstable conformation. The ethoxide ion will abstract the beta proton and at the same time, bromo group will eliminate to produce alkene. Since, since the elimination in cis isomer occur via a stable conformation, so the rate of reaction will be fast, while in trans isomer, the elimination occur via unstable conformation, so the rate of reaction will be slow. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much.